Hello and welcome to yet another one of my videos. This is about a Vadia 16 CD player. It's a work in progress and the reason I'm making now is because I've fitted this uh, cable there that goes into the servo board underneath and it goes across the 20 to ohm resistor. Um, each one of those uh, KSS 151 units has a 20 to ohm resistor somewhere on the board and um, this is ideal for measuring the current that goes through the laser head. Sony, when they make them, they always imprint the original laser current that um, was there at the factory. And this one says 537 means that used to use 53.7 milliamps when it was new. So people are worried, oh, you know, but this laser is used up and, you know, how a second-hand player. Well, let me show you something. This is... Uh, yeah, the player that starts, and you see it says 1.198. Okay, well, let's let's play some music in the meantime, and I'll tell you what it all means. Um, when the player is working at the ball, 1.198. Okay, so if we divide the 1.198 over 22, we get 54.4545445, and so on. As you remember, originally at the factory it had 53.7 milliamps of current being used, but now it's 54. So if we divide one by the other, let me change the music because it's got some operatic name. And um, so basically what happens is that it only dropped um, or increased the current by 1.4 milliamps. So basically it's 98%, 98.6% good. It's only been used up by 1.4%. So this is the newest KSS 151 laser I've ever seen. I've never seen them that fresh. More about this player. This player had no audio on the analog output and, um, and it didn't work at all. Um, a quick service, you know, replacing of loading belts and cleaning of micro switches made it now read any disc and any CDR works beautifully. I'm still working on the analog output. What you're hearing now is goes via the benchmark DAC over there. So it's a digital output and it's perfect square wave. It's so, so the player as such is good and you can, you know, as, as any of them, you can just enter any track and it will just go there straight and, and play, you know, any number. This is a typical of uh, frictionless um, Sony magnetically driven mechanisms. So that, that, that good. So, um, one more. Other than that good laser, this is a TIAC VRDS unit in which there isn't really a motor that drives it from underneath. It is a, a bridge with the motor fitted underneath it that drives this rigid plate. It's a very rigid disk system or something like that. It's called VRDS. And that's the esoterics way of doing things. And, uh, and there is a board underneath it, which is a standard esoteric board. And then it's enclosed in, in a Faraday cage. You see there's a metal plate there. And on top we have the Vadia Magic, and um, in here we have four Burr Brown PCM 1702K chips. And these are considered to be probably the last good chips before Delta Sigma arrived, and, and some people say these are the best ever DAX. Others say that it's uh, 1704s that came a bit later, which were the very last chips ever made in the traditional method. And it has the Burr Brown op-amps, they're of high quality and, and all, but um, the, the engineering in here is, is, is superb all around. It's very heavy, all made with, you know, milled aluminium case. And, you know, but there's a steel used to shield um, they are even even in here you can see they put um, foil to, to shield um, 
digital noise from analog section which is which is there near the output fully balanced I've removed the uh, XLRs at the moment there's still no XLRs uh, because they fitted it in a very strange way it's hard to remove the board so they will go in later when it's fully fixed so this was just a short video to show you how good this player is um, and uh, and really the condition of the laser because next time I'm going to remove that I'll, I'll get rid of those uh, wires and uh, so I won't be able to demonstrate that it is really mechanically and laser wise it is as new uh, and it is in very good condition as well it hasn't been even cleaned since I got it so that's why it looks sort of not that fresh but it, it's, it's top condition and so once I get the analog output uh, going um, Basically, it's, it's not the analog output, the, it's the signal doesn't get from the servo to the analog board. So I, I believe that analog board is just fine. It's just there is an issue. I don't know whether it's input of this board or output of the other. But anyway, I'll keep you updated. Thank you very much. And uh, till next time. Bye-bye.